and I wanted to show you guys that I've sort of consistently got it to give me B flat. So I'm going to skip this for now and tune this hole later and then I'm going to move on to the next note which is C. Let's try C. So I'm within range so I can actually just widen it just a little bit more. And by widen I'm, I'm basically just trying to make this into a perfect circle. Obviously it's not going to be perfect without a measuring tool but that's good enough for me. Let's try C again. And we're almost there, so we're going to skip C and we're going to go D. D's a little bit on the flat side, so I'm going to widen D a little bit. Ooh, sorry, I didn't mean to bump the camera there. We widen D. That's the hole for D. Widen it just a little bit more. I'm going to stop it there. We're going to try to play it again. This is D. We're pretty much there. So we're going to skip on to E. And E is good. So then we're going to go back down to the low F because I widened all these different holes. So we're going to see which one's out of tune. The first note is going to be F for the F major. F is good. G is good. And A is now a little bit flat. So we're going to Do, Re, Mi. So Mi is this one. Now widen it just a little bit more. So A, A, sorry, not Mi. I'm trying to think about it in two different ways at the same time. It's not going to work. And widen A just a little bit. Here we go. And we're back in tune. Go back to F because we widened A, so we need to go everything below it. F is good. G. G is good. A. A is good. B flat. And did you guys see that by widening A, I changed the pitch of B flat too? So now B flat is in tune. It wasn't before we skipped it, but by changing A, we sort of changed B flat, right? So check this out. Now B flat's back to where it was. It just happens, you know, not everything's perfect. Let's do this again. And it sounds a little flat to me. So we're going to widen both B flat and A again. So do you see how like it can go in tune and then get out of tune? That's the whole, like I played concert flute for four years and one of the things that I was taught was that no flute out there is going to be perfectly in tune on every single note. You just It's going to be a miracle if that happens. You're going to have one that's perfectly in tune, a couple that's very close, and then one that's like a little bit less in tune and then you're going to have like all sorts of different ways to sort of use your mouth and the way you sit and the way you hold the flute to change the pitch so you don't actually have to be widening and opening closing holes every single day there we go try again so b flat to me now is good enough let's go to c c is good He's good. Now E's a little bit flat, so we're going to change E. E is this one here. There we go. And every time I say flat, I know I've already talked about this, but when I say flat, I mean it's not as high pitched as it needs to be. And back to this 
cheat sheet the white to widen something or if you need it to go higher you widen it if you need it to go lower than it needs to go then you make it smaller and smaller is with super glue i'm lucky that the dimensions that i gave you guys as well is the way i drilled it i'm making this hole smaller than it should be and i talked about this in the other video too let's try e now E is good, so let's go back to F. So that's a full octave. And then when you're doing this, you're gonna go to the full octave and then you're gonna go the higher octave of each version of the note. And then you're going to redo everything every single time. And so that's why it can take a very long time. But I'm going to stop this video here. I'm gonna do a summary really quick. So now that we have our flute tuned, I'm going to play a little bit of a song for you. This is a, I'm just gonna make it up and we're gonna do the um, sort of minor pentatonic scale. It's otherwise known as the Native American scale. And the way the scale works is you're going to start with, this is the fundamental note, so we're actually not covering up this F anymore. You're going to do this, and you're going to let go. The second note is letting go of two fingers. Third note is this. Fourth note, and then you're going to cover all of it. You're not going to move this finger. So this finger stays on, right? So first, second, third, fourth, fifth, and then Six is like this. So now you're back to the first one. This is what it sounds like. And that was actually from the beginning of the video. So that scale is the same scale that I played on the PVC flute. So let's listen to something I'm just going to play for you guys right now. Thank you guys all so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.